So Max, we, in the previous video, we talked about preparing for resumes and submitting. And usually at the beginning, there will be a phone call and then after a phone call, we'll be face-to-face -face or via Zoom, depends how uh, the companies are comfortable meeting people these days in person. So in terms of preparing for interviews, what tips you have that or you give to your clients? And uh, is, is there a difference between phone interview and in person or via Zoom? Yeah, so in terms of phone interviews, mm -hmm. uh, generally the phone interview happens with the recruiter, which is the pre-screening. Yeah. Uh, once that's done, depending on, I, I know there's uh, the COVID regulations have been lifted. So I think more people are going in uh, office for yeah. interviews, but those questions are, will generally be the same. Uh, in terms of preparation, I would say the first thing is look at the job ad. Yeah. Uh, the job ad will give you an idea of what type of expertise they're looking for. Mm -hmm. So for example, if they're saying that they want someone with three plus years of project management experience, they're probably going to ask you some project management experience questions yeah. just to see uh, if you are actually qualified for the job. So the job ad is a great way to find out what the technical questions that they could potentially ask you. I tend to tell my clients to turn the bullet point into a question. Uh, and then that would be a good idea that that would be the type of question they'll ask you. Not the uh, second part would be behavioral questions. You can Google these, say top yeah. behavioral questions. And there's then, a lot, yeah. yeah, there's a lot. So uh, those will be covered online. And then in terms of formatting your answers, the star format uh, yes. is the tried and true format. So definitely uh, use that. And then the other thing I want to mention is having career stories ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so what that means is go through your experience, highlight 10 stories. Again, usually when you go into deeper around interviews, it's about an hour. So I think 10 stories covers around that yeah. hour. And the reason why I emphasize on stories is that you, if you know the stories well enough, you can pivot these stories to answer multiple questions. So going back to the project management example, let's say, the question is, tell me about a time that you had conflict with a coworker. So maybe there's a project that you had a conflict with. Yeah. Tell me about a time that a project didn't go according to plan. So based on your project manager experience, maybe something went to, in a, to a different direction. Uh, so again, it's, it's still talking about the same story about that specific project uh, as a project manager. So that is how I prepare my clients in interviews. It's about having career stories that you know well that you can pivot into different answers compared mm -hmm. to trying to guess what the questions are going to be and trying to prepare answers for specific questions because you're never going to be 100%. Yeah. It's better to know your experience and be able to pivot those compared to trying to guess what the question is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. just to quickly summarize uh, for your listeners uh, and, and watchers is analyze the job ad to find out what they're looking for technically and what they could ask you for um, from a technical perspective. Mm -hmm. Second is look at top behavioral questions and you can Google these use the star format to structure your answers and then have career stories ready to go that you can pivot to any type of question they'll ask you. And what question do you recommend they should ask at the end? Well, the big question I ask or I tell my clients to ask is what are the next steps? Uh, that's a big one because then you'll know when to follow up. Mm -hmm. The second question I ask is what are some of the uh, biggest challenges that you want this new hire to help you solve? So mm -hmm position yourself as someone that could help them. Yeah. Uh, and then another question would be, what are the expectations and priorities that you want this new hire to focus on within the first 90 days? So then yeah. you have a roadmap of what is your potential responsibilities if you get the job. And then the other, the other thing I want to emphasize is mm -hmm. that you want to ask about the company itself. Yeah. Questions that you're interested in knowing about the company, because this is going to be a big, any time you move to another company, it's a big career move. Yeah. So you want to make sure that this is the right fit for you. So ask some questions that help you stand out as a candidate, but also ask questions that pertains to your interests to ensure that this is the right move for yeah. you. Cause there's tons of stories about people regretting making a move because yeah. They didn't ask the right questions yeah. to get the right information. I ask, I tell my clients, you ask about company culture, you know, leadership style, or even I tell them to ask, is there anything not clear that hesitates you?